Alright guys, so today I got a lot of stuff in the mail. I got this Japanese promo. Uh, it's a 25th anniversary promo and I think uh, based off like the little card at the bottom I can see kind of a prismatic thing. I think it's for Diamond, uh, the new Diamond and Pearl games, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, but it has this cool Piplup stamp and it's just a really nice card in general. And again, it comes with this 25th anniversary card. I almost wish I opened, uh, ordered two because I kind of want to see what the, is on the other side of this card. Um, but I do um, want to keep it sealed, so I'm going to do that. And they also were nice enough to send me this Reuniculus card, which I think is cool. This Alter Ball finally came in the mail. I ordered this a while ago. Um, if you aren't aware, this is like one of the real replicas of the Pokeballs that they've been making. Um, I wasn't lucky enough to be one of the like 500 people that got a Master Ball, but I thought this one was really cool. And they just came out with some new designs like the Dusk Ball and the Heal Ball, I think, which I might get the Dusk Ball. I was hoping they would do a Quick Ball, but this one's also really cool. Because up until now, I just had this 3D printed one that I made, um, which was pretty cool for a while. I never got around to like painting it because I kind of wanted to just pr paint the inside red so it was a Premier Ball. But um, I, just, I made it myself and it's pretty neat. And then, of course, we got Kanto Partner Pack and the uh, Lunchbox Tin all to open. So a lot of stuff today. But, uh, hope you enjoy watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so in the collection tin, we got a whole bunch of stickers. They got this pretty cool Train On 25th Anniversary Notebook. We got this, uh, pamphlet that tells you about the three promo cards. Um, and speaking of which, these are the three promo cards. We got the Light Toxtricity, we got the Champion Hydragon, and then my personal favorite is this Mimikyu Delta Species card, because the gold border on it is just so cool. And then, you know, plus Delta Species is just a really nice concept. Uh, but those are all really cool. And then we got a mini binder as well. Um, we got, what is this, six celebrations packs. Oh, one of them's upside down. Um, we got, let me see, we got two uh, packs out of each of the tin and then the big pack. So we got Battle Styles, Vivid, Evolving Skies, and Sword and Shield. We got this promo coin, and then lastly for the promos we have the Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander cards. Uh, however, I might be getting new ones because if you can't tell, they're kind of bent. Like, not great. So I think the Bulbasaur, I don't even know if I'll be able to flatten these out because they, they kind of have like those little marks in them already from being bent. I was going to say these are the last ones I need, but I might want to get new ones now because they're, I mean, you can kind of see right here that they're a little fucked up which sucks um i might still show off my big card binder at the end because now i have all of those in addition to all the other packs that i have um or all the other jumbo size cards i have but that is a little bit unfortunate that they are creased like that um but i guess that's just same as usual start with the uh, non-celebrations and then we'll move into the celebrations Fire Energy, you got a Golbat, Pig Knight, Carcoal, Blip Bug, Roly Coley, Chimeco, Onyx, Sizzlipede, ooh, a Reverse Embor, that's a Reverse Rare, that's pretty nice, and Claydol, alright. Alright, we got Vivid Voltage next. Um, but yeah, the Celebrations, still missing that Gold Star Mew, I'm still missing both VMAX Pikachus, um, and those are the only three cards I'm missing from the main set, I believe. Um, and then we're missing like 15 or so from the, uh, the Special Collection, obviously, because there's a lot of those. Um, still haven't pulled a lot of my favorites, though, like the Luxray, the Garchomp, the uh, Don Fan. Pineco Reverse Dialga, that is another cool one, and a, I believe a Reverse Rare, and an Alchemy, alright. Well, we got two nice Reverses, at least. Alright, Evolving Skies, and then a Sword and Shield Base. But yeah, that is unfortunate that that got sent to me, uh, bent, because usually the Pokemon Center has been, like, alright with sending me stuff. The only issue I've had before was that they forgot to send me a pack like I ordered a uh, Torterra plush and I ordered a single pack with it and they just completely forgot to put the pack in even though it was on the order sheet that they sent with it slack off had a little but besides that usually everything I've gotten from them has been good condition and everything Ooh, nice hollow Galarian Articuno okay all right last regular pack 
And then again, that Ultra Ball I ordered, I did, I got no notice that it was gonna show up or when it was showing up or anything. I'm, it just randomly showed up with all my other mail that just happened to all get here at once. So that's cool. All right, Fire Energy, Poke Gear, Therothorn, Crushing Hammer, Snom, Fruki, Shelter, Mawile, Ponyta, a Reverse Sobble, and Yo, bro! Finally, good pull. Rainbow Full Art Bead. Uh, I do hate this guy though. If you, have, if you haven't played the games, you know what I mean. Or if you have played the games, you know what I mean. He's kind of a dick. Alright, well that is a very nice pull. Uh, I think that was actually from my... That might have been from the uh, uh, first partner pack. Usually I get absolute crap out of those. But that is a nice card. I got a single pack of Evolving Skies earlier today. And it had a white code card. Um, but then I got nothing out of it. Like, it was just a non hollow wishy washy, which I don't know why wishy washy is a rare in the first place because it has 30 HP. Like, it's not even the form of all of them to get, but who knows. Ho ho, Lugia, Imposter Professor Oak. Okay, we already have this one. And Flying Pikachu V. Come on, give me the V Max at least. I need those. Uh, not a bad pack though. We got a special collection and a V, so not bad. I will not complain about that. We are still missing quite a few cards, though. All right, hello again. Lugia again. All right, Zekrom, that's different. And another one of the big Pikachus, or full art. I don't know what they call that card on. I don't know what classification of card it is. Wow, that pack opened like crap. And then I think I'll do... I honestly might just do a separate video for that Ultra Ball, uh, because I, I'm going to admire that thing for a while, because it is so cool. That is amazing. Let's go. Gardevoir EX. And a Mew. Alright, that is a new card I don't have. And I think a somewhat decent one in rarity. So that is sweet. That is great. Alright, three packs to go. That's a new card for my binder, so I am happy. I'm still missing that Mew EX. Um, well, actually, I'm missing both Mews except for the regular rare one. But we just got that, so... Ah, uh, Yvalto, and Lunala, still no VMAX. Those VMAXs are only worth like three or four bucks, but I just, I, they are elusive, I cannot get them. Alright, I got Xerneas, I got a Dialga, we got Mewtwo EX, let's go, that's another new one, baby. And, a Flying Pikachu V, alright. That is another new one though, so that is very helpful and a very nice card. Honestly, the only thing that I wish this set had, um, or even if it was a promo, I wish they had those Legends cards. The ones where it's, you put two of them together and they get one. Alright, last pack, Cosmoum into a Cleffa, that's another new one. Alright, sweet. And a Mew, alright. Well, I got three new celebrations. Out of six packs, I got three cards I did not have yet, so that is amazing we got the uh rainbow bead um which is also amazing and then uh, i'm gonna show off my big card binder real quick this thing is kind of beefy now um i still have a bunch of cards that just don't fit in the binder because they made a bunch of cards like the old size is this big compared to let's see hold on put them side to side you can see they're slightly smaller um but here's my uh, one of my favorite things that I own, Palkia and Dialga Legend card. It's the big one, so it's together, it's not two separate ones. Um, but it's not in the best condition, but it is super cool. Uh, we got Raichu GX Full Art. We got three of these dark Ra shiny Darkrai uh, GXs. Um, Gyarados GX, Savali GX, and then got, what, two, two Mars Shadows and two Tapu Kokos? Yeah. And then... I got a whole bunch in here. So we got obviously the Pikachu because that was the first card that came with the big binder. We got the Dragapult V Max from Shining Fates, Galarian Sur Surfetch V from that box, Toxtricity V and Poltegeist from those boxes, a bunch of doubles from Champion's Path. Oh, there's even more. More Hatterenes from Champion's Path. Uh, Meowth V Max from that box. Another one. Oh, I think, she, I think I got one of these for free from my card shop. Alakazam V, another one. Actually, I think I got a lot of these for free from my card shop from those boxes because people don't always want them, but I think they're cool. Orbeetle, 
another Orbital. Now we get to the other ones. Grookey, Scorbunny, Sobble. I uh, got the Urshifu and the Blastoise. Other Urshifu. Uh, Urshifu. We got Rowlet. We got Litten and Poplio. So that's Gen 7. Now we're Gen 6. Fennekin, Chespin, Froakie. Uh, Gen 5, Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott. Uh, let me know down below which uh, is your favorite starter. Uh, mine's probably like Cyndaquil. I think that's probably one of my favorites. Gen 2 I just really love in general. And Gen 4. If it's Final Evolution starter, I think Inferno is probably my favorite. And we've got all the Goss V, Venusaur VMAX, Turtwig, Chimchar, and Empoleon. I think Sinnoh Gen 4 has some of the best Final Evolution starters, but their first evolutions are also pretty good. Ice Rider Calyrex, Eternatus VMAX, we got Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, got Chikorita, Totodile, and last but not least, Syndical. Oh, and then we have the, also the Celebrations uh, giant promos, Lance, Dark Sylveon, and Dragapult. And then I guess I'll put the uh, uh, the Canto packs in here, or the Canto cards in here too, even though they're kind of effed up. But uh, I appreciate you watching, and honestly, this was a phenomenal opening. For six Celebrations packs, we got two... I think pretty rare cards. I don't think this clef was very rare, but it is one I didn't have. So I appreciate you watching, and then I guess stay tuned because I should be uh, opening that Ultra Ball really soon because I'm super excited for that. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.